Ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly glad to see you all here. It's really my pleasure to be here this morning and to see you uh, in such a big number. Um, welcome to Bank of Latvia's 12th annual conference about economic subjects. Subject is the same, different place. National Library, library which Bank of Latvia also has helped to build. Um, I think the harvest has been harvested. Uh, astronomical time has been reset. Uh, and what could be better to meet you again um, in order to discuss economic problems here in Latvia, uh, in the rest of the Eurozone. But why the same subject? The same subject because we still do not have an answer. Federal Reserve System is printing, Bank of England is printing, Bank of Japan is printing, ECB is printing. But we still see that inflation is coming down. GDP forecast every six months is being revised down. Debt levels in many countries since 2008 have risen dramatically. If you look at the Eurozone, from 2011 till 2014, the debt has risen by 1 trillion euros, which is more than 10% of Eurozone GDP. There are only six countries, and I would rather say six small countries in Eurozone, which still meets massive public debt threshold criteria of 60% of GDP. Needless to say that these are three Baltic states, Finland, Slovakia, and Luxembourg. Has monetary, has monetary stimulus has resolved current economic problems? And I think the answer is clearly no. There are, of course, several Nobel Prize laureates who claim that by printing more money, we could resolve the situation. We simply do not print enough. We have to print more. I think um, this helicopter money could be thrown out of the helicopter even more and more and more. Um, I believe it is like using an aspirin in curing important or very difficult disease. And you know that aspirin is just a painkiller. You could survive for a certain time, but it is eventually, in the long run, is not curing the problem and not resolving economic situation. Or another thing, or another example, it is like pouring the water on the stone and hoping that eventually the flowers will spring up. Or in other terms, basically central banks are around the world now providing with so much liquidity, but all this liquidity staying with the banking system. And interestingly, why the banking system is not responding or responding marginally and not lending to the real economy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't want to take all the subjects of this morning. We have uh, distinguished panels, two distinguished panels, a lot of interesting speakers here today, and I really thank the speakers for coming to Riga, Latvia, to discuss these issues, because the subject is very, very interesting. So, without further ado, I would invite them the panelists and the speakers to come here and um, let's open the conference. Thank you very much.